I went ahead and drew every character I pulled in Alchemy Stars. Now then, why did I decide to do this? Well, I was watching the I Draw What I Pull videos by Lavender Town and as a gacha addict myself, I wanted more videos where people drew the characters they pulled. But then when I went ahead and searched it up, excluding Lavender Town, there's basically no videos with the same idea, which made me sad. But then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm an artist. I can draw. And that leads me to why I am now. The reason I chose Alchemy Stars is because I really like the game concept and the characters, of which I own a lot of. Now, remember when I said I was going to draw every character I pulled in Alchemy Stars? Yeah, and I'm not talking about the ones I already own, because otherwise I'm going to die. But anyway, time to start pulling. And our first pull is going to be a 3 star, okay. Da da da, and it's... Okay. Amy! Okay, flag wearer. Amy is a member of Lumopolis and is currently a knight in training or she's technically already a knight but she's working on leveling up as a knight and becoming like a I guess even more fully fledged knight if that makes sense and her nickname big surprise is inspiring banner and as a banner holder I wanted her to be able to like stand tall with her flag held high which is the reason for the pose I gave her. While drawing her though, I unintentionally ended up aging her up a bit. And I guess whoops. So yeah, now instead of like the more childish look she has, I've ended up making her more of a grown up. So I guess this is her future self in a way. And while she's a 3 star, her design is actually still pretty intricate there's so many like flowy small details all around her design and the hardest part was actually surprisingly the banner itself since i'm not particularly good at drawing objects and perspective especially mechanical objects which the banner is so yeah the way it looks is kind of distorted and overall just a bit weird now moving on to inking, I just used the basic micron to ink the entire artwork and it's not anything like super crazy, just I basically went over my rough red pencil drawing and I just added like tiny bits of extra bonus detail along the way. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what else to talk about while I show off my drawing so I'm just gonna go ahead and read through a bit of Amy's archive files. So I guess we can learn a bit more about her. You're here, although I'm not very reliable yet. I'm not, I'm, ugh. I'm very grateful to my superior, Lady Gabriel. I'm here to guide you towards the light on the Colossus. My banner is ready at your command. I heard that you can control this huge Colossus of an ancient civilization. You're amazing. You must have worked hard for that. Huh? You didn't? Oh, you must be one of those big shots. No wonder Lady Gabriel said that I would be able to learn a lot here. P please teach me seriously in the future. Okay. Uh, my dawn healer is proof that I am a knight and a weapon that offers the guidance of light. Hmm. When I was still very young and during that terrible war, I suddenly realized I could use the power of this banner. It is probably proof of how hard I've been trying all along. Oh, so that's how she got her powers. God must have given me this ability so that I can save more people. Madame Carline and Lady Gabriel must also have had the same expectations for me. Nice. Da 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 da. Did you know that I'm. Oh, the. Banner bearer of the knights? Oh damn. This is a very important role as I'll need to boost anyone, not anyone, everyone's morale and guide them along the right path. No one else can do this. Yup, I guess so. Uh, also, some people laugh at me and joke that I look childish because of my hairstyle. I keep it that way to make it easier for me to fight. 
Everyone in the night is kind. Uh, I don't say it's just your hair. The banner you hold is literally the same size or technically bigger than you. I make mistakes all the time because I don't have much combat experience. And I feel very frustrated. Can read. And I feel really frustrated because of that. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so all of her stuff is just talking about how she basically her a bit of her backstory and just how much she's working towards improving as a banner bear, flag wielder. I'm not sure exactly how to call it. And yeah, that was basically it. By the way, I ended up coloring it a bit later, but it didn't turn out that great. Anyway, ignoring my failed attempt, let's go on to the next pool, and it's a 4 star. Okay. Pasolo. Okay. With Pasolo, I kept her overall pose like very similar to how the original one is. Instead, I just moved her hands to the front a bit and changed the angle a bit more to the quarter, a bit more quarter angle. And this, I wanted to have her have a more like, not say shy, but she has a slightly like meek or reserved personality. So I wanted to show that a bit more. And I also kept the way the papers she has wrapped around her because I really liked how that looked. It looked had such like interesting feel just having the papers like flo floating around around her. So yeah, that's what I did. Hmm, what else to say besides that? I'm really bad at explaining how I draw stuff. I just usually just go with, hey, this feels nice to draw. So let me just do that. So it's kind of hard for me to exactly explain how I go about drawing stuff in detail. I think I said that already, but oh well, just deal with it, I guess. Anyway, so I wanted to try inking Pasolo differently. And so I decided to bring out my nifty glass dip head to go and use to ink her. But just as a side note, I have not used a dip pen in a very very long time in comparison to microns and the dip pens you see manga cuz used to draw with so yeah i wasn't really sure how it would go in king using the glass dip pen but it was fine it was kind of it was much harder to get thinner more delicate lines but overall it was pretty satisfying to use well while i'm inking I guess I'll also go through a bit of Pasolo's character files as well. Let's see, da da da. I wasn't actually on duty on the day Pasolo arrived on closet. I heard that quarters were filled with scraps of paper when she came in. It took the fireflies ages to pick them all up. Okay, she drops papers everywhere. Da da da, let's see. As you can see, Navigator, I got pieces of paper all over me. My horns, my skirt, and even my wristbands are all made of layers of paper. Those bits that look like blood stains. Well, that's not really blood. It's actually just a substance that appeared after I mastered the ability to control all this paper. Oh, so it's like, it's not blood, but it's some boost mastery effect lighting, I guess. The vice told me you guys have been to Rita's old desert, da da da. Mm. It was a moonless night, my parents had just set up the tent, when several eclipse sites surrounded us. I heard my parents calling for me to run into the tent, but I was too scared to move, until an eclipse site charged at me and my dad struck it down. My dad hugged me, and said everything went red, blood red. I can't remember what happened after that, I just remember that after burying my parents, I was covered in red paper and said I left the desert. Oh, I see. See that special piece of paper? The one with the pattern that looks like two people on it? I call that one Resurrection. Oh, is it her parents? Oh, wait. The souls my parents are on that piece of paper I call Resurrection. They're not gone. They're just living in this paper for now. Oh, so the paper surrounding her is basically her family. 
Her parents and my god, that's kind of dark. Well, uh, anyway, forgetting about the dark past, just the final bit of inking for the paper around her being done, that's puzzle all completed as well. Wow, look at that! And on to the last pool, which, well, conveniently a 5 star. Literally progressively getting better and better pools. First 3 stars, then 4 star, and finally a 5 star. But where's my 6 star? Where's my 6 star? But going back to Korax, for Korax, I drew him walking out of like a scene, well, maybe like a door, wiping his hand with a handkerchief. And I thought that would fit because he's basically, uh, from the, his description, he's a germaphobe, but only to himself, so he likes to keep himself clean a lot. So I thought it would suit him to just be wiping his hand while walking away from whatever he decided to do, whatever he plotted. And Korax's overall outfit was pretty fun to draw because it's partially skin tight with his sleeves, but also very puffy and loose with the overall like coat design. And because he doesn't wear a whole bunch of different loose jewelry and other small trinkets, it makes it overall much easier to draw him compared to some other characters like Amy. And for Korax, I decided to just go back to using some good old Micron for the inking. Now, with the inking, I basically did the same with Amy. I loosely followed the original red drawing and adding some just a bit of extra detail here and there while still following like, the overall layout I planned. And well now, let's read a bit of Korax's files or archives. Mr. Korax, I heard he often wandered around the Colossus late at night. I'm not certain why, but so far, I have four or five complaints about how scary he is, going about expressionlessly with a scalpel in hand, Jesus. As one of these representatives in the Colossus, it is my duty to investigate. When I walked to his door, he was in the middle of polishing his scalpels, and he noticed me as I was hesitating whether or not to go in. I read that wrong, but well, uh, da, da, let's skip a bit. Yeah, like I said, germaphobe. Is that you, navigator? Excuse me, but I'm still washing my hands. It'll be just a moment, as you can tell. I'm a mild germaphobe, but don't worry, only when it comes to myself. Da da da, and then the next part is yet another crazy one about him. I don't know if you remember that I mentioned I used to be a doctor. Da da da. I want some accolades. Accolades? I was young and ambitious then, so I spent the years in surgery and medical research and rarely went home. Da da da. I think maybe what happened afterward might be my punishment. I still get occasional urge to pick up a scalpel now, but more often it's for research. So, how about letting me do some research on you? <laughs> Yes. How about actually no, not yes. My mistake. Ignore what I said. Mm, da, da, da. I was treating victims almost every day. The injuries were difficult to treat, but like I said, I was a superb surgeon. So, I sailed through no matter how difficult the situation. Ah, da, da, da. By the time I rushed home, they were dead. I tried to save them, but it was too late. Worse yet. I didn't even realize there were still eclipses. <laughs> Eclipse sites linger around at that time. What? Of course I survived. I'm standing here, aren't I? He just murdered them. F ripped the family. You want to know why I quit being a doctor? Da da da. Da da da. Before Umbert Han turns over a new leaf. I think I'll do what's best for me and wait. Very nice. Oh, and by the way, that's the artwork finished. Just exactly on point. Very nice. And with that, all three of them are done. I think I did all right with them. Could be better, but you know, got space to improve. So yeah, 
Who knows? What do you guys think? I might do this again with different gacha games, or maybe the same gacha game, but with trying to get even more different characters. Who knows? But yeah, that's basically it. Don't know if anybody's watching all the way to this point, but if they are, thank you. So I was finishing up the editing for the video, and I decided to do a temple as a celebration. And guess what? It's a six star. What kind of it going on during the challenge? Oh, let's see who it is. Six star, chlorine. Why well, could have gone like her earlier? Wow.